Coronado from the Chicago Flower and Garden Show 2010. And today, I want to talk about how to save money and save water. You can do it simultaneously, and you do it with using a rain barrel. Today, I'm here to talk with David Kelly, and he's all about saving rainwater and making a difference for our community. Dave, can you tell me a little bit more about this rainwater system? You've, been, you've really invented this, right? Correct, correct. Yeah, it's actually uh, the rain barrel has always been the poster child for rainwater harvesting. And with the rain barrel, one of the biggest objections people gave was the fact that it is typically ugly. It's usually a big recycled barrel, and most people say, well, I want to do it, but I don't want that on the side of my house. So one of the things we actually did was change that uh, appearance of the rain barrel to be more aesthetically pleasing. So we're using a, either a terracotta uh, urn or, in this, in this case here, a sandstone-style urn. So it kind of blends into the, uh, the facade of the house. So what can you tell me about, from a rainwater harvesting, what does it, how does it help our community, actually? Well, rainwater harvesting not only is just general water conservation uh, being important, but it also from a standpoint of stormwater management. Uh, in the area like Chicago here, it's not a uh, water scarcity issue, it's more of a water abundance in the form of rainfall. So by taking this water, capturing it, it actually uh, removes that water from going out into the stormwater sewer systems and going into our lakes, rivers, and streams as, as runoff. Wonderful. Well, I know that uh, watering grass, for instance, it takes up to 40% extra water through the summers to do that. And those statistics are quite large when you think of that could be saved yeah. money that you could be using to feed your family with. Yeah, absolutely. And so what I do is I ripped out my front lawn, planted a vegetable garden, and I use my rain barrels to water the vegetable garden. And I think it's a, a much more sustainable idea than letting all that water go to waste. So I really appreciate you telling us about this. And I'd like to learn more about how that actually functions. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Yeah, it's real easy. It's a kind of a keep it simple, stupid type of philosophy. Uh, on the back here, what we're going to do on our rain barrel is cut off the downspout and redirect that downspout to the top. In the back here, there's a screen that water goes through, prevents any mosquitoes or anything from getting in that. Mm -hmm. That water then flows down into the barrel. Inside the barrel, there's actually an overflow standpipe. So as that water rises up, once it reaches maximum capacity, it overflows, goes down the standpipe, and comes out the bottom of the unit where it can be discharged off into the, uh, uh, into the drainage cool. system. Very cool, very uh, cool. On the front of this, which is nice, we've actually incorporated a planter, so that further actually helps disguise that, uh, that rain barrel. Wonderful. Well, thanks very much for Thank being here and, and speaking with us. And you can make a difference. You can get out there, save money, save water, and do it all with a rain barrel.